All right, welcome back to the training. Um, I'm still Coach Concord. So right now, we're going to be looking at step three. We've considered step one and step two. Now we're going to be considering step three. And in step three, I'm going to be showing you how to create, you know, a menu on your website. How to create a menu on your website. How to create the pages, okay? And how to create your home page so that when they type your domain name, www.this.that.com, you know, your website, what's going to show is your website, right? right? To your home page, right? So let, let's quickly, quickly dive right into it. But let me quickly show you something. Um, let me show you something. So I just want to quickly um, show you, for those that might not know what I mean by menu and what I mean by pages. All right? So this... Come on, don't waste my time, please. I just want to show you what I mean by pages and what I mean by menu. So this, you can see your home, services, blog, about us, contact us. These are menu. These are menu. This now, as, soon as I type fullandsdigitals.com, this is our home page, right? This is our home page. Um, then what else? You can see here, this is a, these are sub menus. There are sub menus because they are under a major menu, a main menu, right? Then um, these are pages. This is a home, this is a home page, this is about us page. This is contact us page. So if you click on it, it's going to take you to that page. Click on any, any of these buttons, it's going to lead you to that page. Okay. So um, yeah, I just wanted to show you this so that uh, um, you you know you are clear. So that you are clear. Now let's um come back to um business. Let's come back to business. So now, how do you create your menu? You go to you go to appearance. This is the appearance. Go to uh, no for create page for create menu right. Let's go and create pages. Yes. So come see pages here. Pages. You come to add new. Click on add new. Because you don't have any page on this website yet. So click say home. Because you want to have. I'm going to create like four pages right. Home. Once you're done, click on publish. Publish doesn't publish now. You click on add new again. Let's add another one. Add new um about. These are like the main, the major um pages that every website has. The home page, about us page, the um um contact us and you know services page. Then let me add services services. You can publish. Then I'll now add contact. Contact these four pages. I click on publish. So now we have four pages on this website. How do you see them? You see all pages here, right? Click on all pages. You see about contact home and services this one leave it is just a sample page that came with um the you know the website this one to leave it just leave these two so we have about contact home and, and services then the next thing i want to do now is to go and create menu so to create menu you come here appearance come to appearance you go to um sorry menu see menus here click on menus you don't have any menu yet here. Yeah? So they're going to, the first thing they're going to ask you to do is name. What is the name of your menu? So you name it main, name it main menu. Okay, you can see there already is a suggestion. Click on main menu. Then you click on display location. Where do you want this menu to show, right? Say header. Then you say create menu. Click on create menu. That is it, your menu has been created. Um, now you want to now add those pages to your main menu, add pages. How do you do that? You come here, click on view all. Then you select home, select about, select um, services, select contact. Then you click on add to menu. You can see they've been added, right? They've been added. And you see that I want, I want services to come before contacts. I want contact to come under. All you need to do is take your cursor, 
to the one you want to move, then press it down with um your left, like left click, press it down, then you drag and drag it to the top. That is it, that's all. Then you click on um, save, save menu, save or menu. So it has, it has been saved. It has been saved. So next thing we want to do is if you, if I check, let me show you something now. Precious art station, right? Um, precious art station. If I type this domain somewhere now, let me type it here quickly. <clears throat> So I type it here, you're gonna see that it's still showing the same thing it was showing when we started, you know, building this stuff. That same thing, right? So if I click on slash home, it's going to open the home page. Although there's nothing on the home page, we've not added anything there, right? It's going to open them um, the home page, and this is you can see here home. Here's the home page, right? So, but we don't we want a situation whereby when we type preciousartstation.com. It's going to go straight to the home page instead of adding that slash home. How do we do this? We come back to, you know, uh, let me remove this stuff here. Let me just clean this slash home. We come back to where we're working. Then we'll go to um, settings. Settings, that is how to make our home page a static page. Go to settings, settings. You go to reading. Okay, from settings, click on reading, soon as you click on reading, click on a static page, this one here, select it, static page, then come here, click click on the down button, select home, and that is it. Then you click on save changes, save changes. So if I come back here now and I I just, you know, I do precious our station, let me put in my this thing again, uh, station dot, Come. You can see now that we are not good to go. You understand? I don't need to have to add that slash home anymore. It's not showing as I want it. So now, um, the next thing we want to do now is to, is to is to start, you know, importing each of the pages, right? We're going to be starting with the home page. So in the step five, I'll be uh, uh, yeah, okay. Step four. In this step four, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be editing the home page so there will be content on the home page. All right, so that's what we're doing in the next video. So, see you in step four.